Did you know Sean the Sheep has a video game? Well today I'm playing Home Sheep Home Farmageddon Party Edition. That is a mouthful. This game is basically a platform puzzler. You get this like one little area and there's a puzzle to solve or a logic challenge and you've got to overcome it. You've got to use your environment and the three sheep you're given to control which each have slightly different abilities to finish each level or complete each puzzle. Now a lot of these levels don't actually get long. Well they can be long in the sense of what you've got to take this and move that sort of thing but they're never like a long level. They're all contained like in one little location. I guess you could call them micro levels. There's also a number of bonus levels hidden throughout the stages or certain stages and they are usually a lot more challenging to get to. It's amazing how simple some of these levels are, especially at the start of the game. But what's even more amazing is how I was able to mess some of these up. I got this. Easy, easy, no, wait, oh. Um, I know what to do, guys. Oh, okay. Most of the fun and charm in this game is just playing with the physics and the different characters. You can push each other around, you can jump on top of each other's back. It's pretty funny to sit there and watch the tiny baby hold up this massive sheep. It's just so silly you can't help but smile. Oh, there goes the baby. At least I didn't push him off. Okay, I may have done that on purpose. Yeah, you can also soft lock the game or get stuck when the physics don't necessarily work. I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get it! And... I gotta bring this down, I think... Come on! Yeah! Oh! Oh my! <laughs> I feel... Oh! It, what? No! Come here! No! Don't go back up there! Stay! Oh my god! I don't know what's worse, the fact that we're using dynamite to get the sheep up the mine thing, or the fact that the baby's the one setting it off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he's, he's all burnt and toasty. There's actually a lot of clever gimmicks in this game, and the way you've got to work this out is also very creative using the weight and all that. Okay. It's very creative. Really? Really, guys? Really? Messy, but it got the job done. Yep, okay, this is how we get into the next set of levels. I, I just love how he's just like, oh no, the TV went out! Curse the government! Ardman Animations has such a unique look to it, like even if I didn't know what Shaun the Sheep was, just seeing that alien alone makes me know, oh, this is Ardman, the same people that did Wallace and Gromit or more for Creature Compass. just get through these levels with sheer luck. I tried so hard to get Timmy into that too because I wanted to see all three of them falling but... I hate this level! I'm gonna have to get a hint because I, I just can't figure out how I'm supposed to do what here. Yes I do! I can't beat this game that's aimed at like four year olds. Ugh, I may have to sit down and have a cry after this. 
Thanks for watching everyone, I had a ton of fun with this game and I highly recommend it, especially if you're into puzzle games, platform games, or just a big fan of Shaun the Sheep. Have you played this game? Let me know in the comments below. Why not drop me a like if you really enjoyed the video and subscribe so you see more of this. Alrighty everyone, stay safe, take care, and I will see you all next time.